Hello everyone, FunshotX here, and this is a update for ComputerCraft Battleship that I'm building that will be part of the ComputerCraft Arcade. Uh, the other day I asked for some missions for some uh, prototype battleships uh, and other pieces that will be used in the game, and I provided a map, and I was uh, received three submissions the fir very first day, or within the first two days. And so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what uh, these guys sent and give them credit for them, because they were awesome. It was really cool that you guys would take time to, to build those for me, and they turned out really well, uh, much better than I could have done. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the submissions, and then also I live streamed some of the creation of the map. Uh, I think it was last night, and so I'll go ahead and show you what we uh, came what we came up with on the stream. I had some guys on the stream that were giving me some some suggestions and tips and that kind of thing. So I think it's it's starting to turn out really well. Let's go look at the submissions. Okay guys, this is the first sub submission I would like to show you is from a guy named Liam. And he sent in all five ships, uh, all using the iron block, which is perfect, exactly what I wanted. And uh, let's check them out. This is the... Um, I know I put the signs back here, what they, what I thought they were called, tugboat and whatever, but actually the little one is actually the, the destroyer or the cruiser, I can't remember. It was in my YouTube video. Uh, but anyway, this guy looks good, a very simple little boat that could be blown up pretty way, pretty easily. Um, I like this one. A lot of people had trouble with, you know, doing turrets, like missile turrets. Um, making those look good with iron blocks is very difficult. Uh, but no, I don't. I don't need them to be re lifelike or realistic. I just want, you know, more more be true to the uh, the board game. So I like this ship. It's very simple. It's got little uh, quarters in the back. The submarine is really good. You got a little periscope there, and it's uh, with. If we had water here in the bottom level, it would be pretty much sitting at the right level. So I like that one. Um, this one I really like the ship of, uh, the shape of, and uh, in the back here it looks pretty good. It goes a little bit over the boundaries. Oh, might have to disqualify you for that one. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, I like that one as well. And then the carrier, a little, t maybe too simple for my taste. Um, it does get, you know, you can tell it's a carrier, but uh, when you guys see the next submission, they took it to the next level a little bit. But I, overall, I really do like all five boats that you submitted. And I'll definitely be using pieces of um, each of these in the design. So I appreciate Liam for your submission. Uh, unfortunately, well, fortunately for you, you get to watch your boats being destroyed. I have a save for them, don't worry. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is what happened if your boats were playing Battleship. Go ahead and launch the missiles, type in the secret code, and here we go. Kaboom! And I went ahead and launched <laughs> two missiles in each one because they need a little bit. Wow, obliterated. Those ships are sunk. You've sunk my battleship. And a little one gets completely destroyed. Not much left of it. <laughs> the sub is the sub took tons of damage. It must have been hollow. That's awesome. This battleship actually has the crew quarters survived. Where did that one? Did that one not go? It doesn't seem like it blew up very much. Did you not launch? You didn't launch. Oh. Oh, where do you go? I gotta send more down. Or maybe they just... Oh, he did have that pillar sticking straight up. Maybe that was what happened. But we can launch some more. Bam. Wow, that's a tough boat. There we go. Now it's... It would have been sunk anyway, but I like that. And the, your crew, your carrier is completely destroyed. Only the bottom hole remains. All right, let's go check out the next submission, guys. All right, guys, here's submission number two. This is uh, this guy actually sent me it uh, the very first day I put the video out. It was really quick and really awesome. Came from a guy named uh, Kazi. His YouTube account is the only Kazi. So go hit him up, hit him a sub if you can. And I really like his. They're again very simple, but he uh, went to add gun turrets. Um, which very difficult on with blocks. Um, the holes that are here, not his part. I was attempting to see what they would if they would look more like uh, the battleship blocks if they had the little holes in them. <laughs> and I really like the way the carrier looks with the little holes. It, I mean, doesn't look uh, you know it looks like the battleship game with the little you know the little holes for the pegs. But anyway, uh, his battleship looks really good. I like the, the turrets here. Submarine again is very well done, and then. This guy actually looks like a, a speeder, <laughs> you know, not just a little tugboat like what I made. So yeah, I really like these. Um, 
I'm not certain on the holes if I'm going to use it or not. One thing that will allow for is more damage to be done. Uh, as we saw in the past submission, you know, some of them, if they explode up here on the top, don't do a lot of damage. So if we have the little holes, hopefully the dynamite will land right in there and blow them up a little bit better. Uh, so I'll test with that if I like the look or not. Um, it definitely makes this submarine not look as cool as it did because I had to put you know, little holes in it to kind of break it up. So uh, we'll see on that. Um, but yeah, this is the, from the Kazi. Let's go ahead and destroy his. I've got a little different setup here. Uh, that's, the dynamite doesn't fall straight down. So it fell. <laughs> Shooting two out at once is probably not a good idea. Oh no, it's going to blow up the other boat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let me turn off the double blow up real quick. And all fixed. Battleship's already sinking, but now it's going to go really go down. And luckily when these are in the water, the water will kind of absorb some of the damage, so hopefully the play field doesn't get destroyed. That's another thing I'll need to test, because I don't want it, that field to be destroyed. Yeah, so maybe I won't use those holes, because the dynamite's not fitting, you know, sitting in them anyway. Oops. And your cruiser, your destroyer. And the little guy. Again, this is nothing against your boats. I just want to watch them destroy, uh, be destroyed, see what they look like afterward. Cool. <laughs> the carrier's a little bit hollow. You took some shortcuts, didn't you? Submarine as well. <laughs> cool. All right, let's. We have one more submission to see. Let's go see that one. This is the the causes again. Go sub to him. The link, uh, his YouTube link will be in the description. And here's the third submission that came into me today. Um, this was by a guy named Thiago TGM or Thiago TGM Gaming, and he put a lot of detail into these. Uh, they have um, probably my favorite carrier. But go look at it in the little uh, little tugboat. <laughs> this looks like a little. Uh, Definitely, definitely like a tugboat. Almost like one that would like pull trash in the back in New York Harbor or something. One of those trash boats. But yeah, so uh, um, I don't think I'll go with that one. I like the other one, the better, the speeder version. Uh, but uh, he really captured, if you see on boats, they have like the little thing at the top where the uh, sonar is and the radar and, or, you know, whatever, whatnot. I'm not a... Navy person, so I'm not sure what all the equipment up at the top is, but it's like a little T. Um, but yeah, he's put that on most of the boats. This one has a little gun turret, as much as you can make one. Uh, his submarine is okay. Um, it's a little tall out of the water. I would definitely move it down. And then uh, the periscope, I think I like the other periscope better than this one, but I would really like the, the back uh, with the, like the, the rotor here. Uh, his battleship is really cool. It's got this double turret in the front. Again, one of those little nests. Uh, I guess you'd call it a crow's nest, but it's more like the equipment tower. And then another double turret back here. And then here's the carrier. It's actually got airplanes on the front. And I think the you know you can definitely tell those airplanes just with six blocks. It gives enough enough sh shape to know they're airplanes. So it's got three parts at the top. Here's one like maybe taking off, and it's got the uh, kind of like the extra runway there, you know, like you see in a carrier, and then the the big, you know, station here in the front, and then it's got a helicopter in the back. <laughs> I really like that one, so I think this is definitely the carrier that I'll use, and then uh, bits and pieces of the other ones I'll probably combine of those three submissions. Um, if you guys want to still submit, you're welcome to it. Check the previous video for the download link, or you can just make them yourself in the Vanilla World. Um, but uh, those are probably the only three I'll show on uh, in a video. Uh, but if you do send me them, I might you know use your submission in the actual battle uh, battleship game. Um, so now let's go and destroy these. I think this turtle is good to go. Do you got dynamite in you? Oops! What did I call it? 
just go. Alright, I gotta fix your bugs. Here he goes. Take that, helicopter. <laughs> oh, he's gonna take out all the airplanes. Uh-oh, you're going too far. What are you doing, guy? You're only supposed to go six blocks. <laughs> Pay no attention to the bug in the turtle program. Oh, that one landed right in the middle. Boom. <laughs> Took off the front bow. So take off the top. That is a little bit of a problem with uh, this submission is that the they were a little too tall. So the dynamite can't really destroy them. They're just gonna especially if it lands up on like a turret like that. And my turtle's got problems. So I'll tell you what we do. There we go. <laughs> Sticky dynamite actually doesn't do much to iron, does it? Even with that much. Oh no, that's nice. He actually uh, built them in 3D. He didn't take any shortcuts. Cool. Hey right, guys, let's go uh, check the actual battleship map that I've been working on. Okay, so if you watched my live stream, you saw me build this. Um, this is definitely a lot of prototyping still. Um, not completely set on everything, but let's start with the game board first. Uh, we actually used turtles to build this entire grid. Uh, they just went down 100 blocks, dropping the light blue and the dark blue wool. So we have this nice 5x5 five five grid with uh, you know, one wide separating grid in the middle. And so on this side as kind of like a separator between the players, I'm going to have this big giant battleship sign. Um, this will be like filled in with a solid block and I might make the actual battleship like light up with uh, red powered uh, lamps um, so that you can see it better. So that'll be a grand sign kind of game board title, and then it'll um, serve as a blocking wall in, in between the two players as well. And then I've got the letters representing the grid, so I'll have A through J here, and 1 through 10 on this side that I need to still do. And then over here is where all the controls will be. So um, you'll have an entrance here somehow to get up to these two uh, platforms, and you'll have the blue player over here, and the red player over here, or player two, whatever you want to call it. And so they'll, from this vantage point, have a good view uh, view of the entire field. They'll be able to watch the turtles come over from the other player and destroy their ships. And they'll also be able to control their game board. So if we boot this guy up, I can't remember what we call it. Just call it grid for now. Um, it's not 100% done, but you can see we've got a, a decent grid here. There's a little couple bugs, but. Um, this is an uh, advanced monitor, so it will be touch enabled, so you can actually, instead of having to click on the computer and type in where you want to fire, you can just say, I want to fire J6, and click right there. And it will turn white uh, momentarily, it will send, you'll see the turtle, or fly over, or whatever, and you'll hear an explosion or whatever, and um, up at the top there will be a status um, field, and it will say, you know, J6 hit, or something. And then this will turn red. And then, it, you know, this will also say who's players, so it might say, you know, please wait for the other player to take their turn, or it's your turn, make a selection, that kind of thing. So, we've got the grid and then the, the status bar up there. And just by building a three high wall here, you even if you jump, you can't see the other player and what the, where their ships are, because this will be completely full as well. And then up at the top, to keep uh, it looking like the Battleship game, we have these five red lights, and I can control them with a computer here. And it'll be uh, with a modem to go whoops, to go to the other, uh, the main server, which I haven't built the server room yet. Uh, but this can turn the lights on and off based on how many ships you've sunk. Once you've sunk all five, you win. Uh, so that's that's my update for day one, pretty much, and and to show you guys off the submissions, I really want to show them because these guys worked really hard and and provided those very quickly. I was surprised how fast they all came in, so it allows me to move forward with the game, and uh, 
I need to film some Feed the Beast uh, magic stick tonight, so I probably won't be live streaming uh, the rest, you know, the second day of this until tomorrow, maybe. And then, yeah, so I'll finish the game board and try and get more of the control board done. And then once this is all working, then I'll just duplicate it on the other side in reverse. So, this has been Funchine X for Computercraft Battleship. I will see you guys next time. Bye.